Je passe maintenant la parole à Johannes pour une annonce sur le code de bonne pratique contre la désinformation. Merci beaucoup, Eric. Um, today, we present our assessment of the code of practice on disinformation. Uh, as you know, the code is the first framework worldwide which is setting out uh, self-commitments for online platforms and social media companies to uh, fight disinformation. Uh, the assessment shows that this approach can indeed effectively help uh, the fight against this information, but it also identified uh, some shortcomings. Uh, the lessons learned from this assessment will be used now to show the way forward. Essentially, we need uh, even more efforts from the signatories. We need more accountability and more transparency. Uh, the Commission will soon take further steps to address the, uh, address the issues raised by this information. Uh, notably in two upcoming landmark proposals. One is uh, the Digital Services Act and the other one is the European Democracy Action Plan. Uh, furthermore, today we also published uh, the first set of reports from online platforms and this is Google, Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft, Mozilla and TikTok on their actions against coronavirus related disinformation. Uh, this kicks off a monthly reporting and monitoring mechanism which was uh, Commit or which, to which we committed in the 10th of June communication, joint communication on disinformation in the COVID-19 context. And we have more information in our daily news and uh, in the press release, which is online. Thank you very much, Johannes. This brings our announcements to a close. We're now ready to take your questions. And I pass the floor to Atanasio.